Hi Cindy, you can see with this one, if I keep the ink separate by either leaving, leaving little gaps when I paint or like this one, pulling paint back out with alcohol and a cotton tip, especially so that I can come in and put the holographic ink into those little holes and ridges, I get this opal effect. And the sky effect is just amazing. And all I've done is poured that with some alcohol to, to thin it up and rocked it across the top of the page and I ended up with this gorgeous ombre rainbow sky. So there's a real learning curve but it's it's worth playing with it um, in the ways that it was um, intended to be used, you know, actually keeping it very separate. But the more you do it, the more you see what it does, the more you get a hang of it. Um, this is ceramic tile paper. I think you're using glass. I think glass and acetate are the best two substrates you can use. But for a white substrate, nothing matches the ceramic tile paper because it's got so much glow and reflection. As you can see here, it's just pretty. And I mean, the photography in itself is a bit of a, a challenge. Well, at least it is for me. I mean, I'm not a photographer at all and I struggle knowing what to do. But anyway, this gives you an idea of how it performs when you keep it completely separate from the other inks. Okay, bye.